Okay, next we're gonna sew all the pieces together and I'm gonna show you how to sew the pocket into the uh, front panel here first, okay? So before we sew, make sure you turn your uh, front panel wrong side facing up and we're gonna sew on the wrong side because this is gonna be inside of the pocket, right? So here's the wrong side and here is the right side. So I put the right side down like that. And let me show you this side. As you can see here, I sew around here already. This is the wrong side and here is the right side. I have the pocket now. All right. So I'm gonna use the tail that I left earlier to sew. And before you sew, make sure you put uh, the pocket lining over this pocket hole, like that. So I'm gonna sew up here and down. Okay, so I'll put right here, like that. That's it, very easy. And then I'm gonna sew around this square and if you like you can place the stitch marker into each corner as well i like to do that that way i think it's help so make sure it's even okay make sure it's nice and even The last corner here. All right, if you think it's even, you just go ahead and sew it. But when you sew, we're just gonna sew into the, uh, the inside. Make sure that your needle doesn't go through the front. Let me show you. I already insert my tail into my yarn needle here, ready to go. I'm gonna sew this side first. So I turn this way. So I'm gonna insert my needle into that stitch that I placed this stitch marker and then remove this stitch marker. See, I put through just the inside. I don't Go through outside like that. And next stitch here. Around here. Next stitch here. Next stitch here and next stitch here. Next stitch here and next stitch here. You kind of eyeball it, <laughs> just make sure it's even and nice and clean and be patient with it. Next stitch here and next stitch here. Alright, I'm just gonna sew back and forth like that. 
Here's what it looks like so far. Alright. I'm gonna keep sewing down here. Make sure don't sew too tight or too loose. Alright, and like I said, make sure the needle doesn't go through the outside. So yeah, I'm gonna keep sewing. When I reach this corner, I'm gonna continue sew this way. And then when I reach this corner, I'm gonna continue sew up here. And then when I reach this corner, I'm gonna continue sew all the way to the end where we start to sew. And then after that, I will be back. All right. Okay. Now I sew around this square. And next, I just need to weave the end. And I will weave the end later. And I'm pretty sure you know how to weave the ends. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. So here's what it looks like on the wrong side that I just sew. And here is the right side. And here's the pocket that we just sew. Really nice. Alright, and next we're gonna sew the back and the front panel together. Okay, next we're gonna sew the back and the two front panel together. And before we sew, we're gonna turn all the panels, wrong side facing up, right side facing down. We're gonna sew on the wrong side and we're gonna use the long tail that we left earlier to sew. So before we sew, I just wanna explain a little bit here. And uh, remember when we make the front panels, I tell you to leave a long tail for both panels. Actually, we just need one panel that we need to leave a long tail because we're not gonna sew the front and the back panel all the way here we gonna leave some space open here as well so see this side I don't need a long tail for this side because we're not gonna sew this way we're gonna sew from this blue marker to this orange marker so as you can see the long tail is this way right but for this panel we can use this long tail because we're gonna sew from the blue marker to the orange marker here. So this one good. Uh, the long tail that we need to leave is the back panel and then one front panel. As you can see here, this the tail come from the back panel. When I cut the yarn, uh, I just I don't think that I gonna leave a long tail, but probably uh, I have enough. I'm not sure. So this is not big deal. If you don't have a long tail, you just cut a new strand of yarn. That's it. No big deal, but I don't want to explain to you what's going on. All right? All right, sorry about that. So, I'm going to show you how to sew. And you can use any method you prefer for sew. So, I'm going to sew this side first. I'm going to try to use this tail from the back panel here hopefully i have enough to sew from the uh, blue marker to orange marker but if not i gonna cut a new strand of yarn and then start sew all right doesn't matter no big deal so yeah anyway i gonna use the yarn needle to sew so i insert my tail into my yarn needle here okay and then i gonna remove this stitch marker and i just gonna sew back and forth you can use any method you prefer. That's it. Okay. So, I insert into this first stitch here. And go into the first stitch where the tail come from. And then bring it out. Okay. And then go into next stitch here. And then next stitch there. Bring it out. Next stitch here, next stitch there, bring it out, next stitch here, next stitch there, bring it out, next stitch here, next stitch, uh, next stitch there, bring it out, next stitch here, and next stitch there, bring it out. Alright, this is what I'm gonna sew, 
back and forth. Uh, make sure don't sew too tight or too loose. So here's what this looks like so far. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep sew until I reach the stitch marker. Let me show you a few more times. So I insert to the next stitch here and the next stitch there. I insert into both loops, okay? Bring it out. Next stitch here and next stitch there. Bring it out. Next stitch here, next stitch there. Bring it out. Next stitch here, next stitch there. Bring it out. All right. Just keep sewing. Hopefully I have enough. I think I have enough. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Forget to tell you how many stitches that I saw. I saw 19 stitches on each shoulder together, the front and the back panel. So from the blue marker here to the orange marker here, I have 19 stitches on the front panel, also on the back panel. And I sew 19 stitches together here. Both shoulders sew exactly the same. All right, and then I leave uh, 11 stitches here. Okay, sorry about that, I'm totally forget. Okay, just keep sewing. <laughs> Okay, last stitch here into this stitch marker. All right, and then I remove this stitch marker. And I'm done with this shoulder and I'm just gonna hide the tail and weave the end. I'll tie a knot. Tie a knot right here. Keep hiding the tail. Okay, make sure it's secure and then you trim the tail and you're done. And like I said, both sides so exactly the same. And for this side, I'm gonna use the long tail that I left from the front panel to sew. The, uh, uh, those stitches together and as you can see here this long tail from the front panel we're not gonna use that at all I'm just gonna cut it out and then I will weave this in later all right I'm gonna go ahead and sew this side and I will be back and then after that we're gonna sew the sleeve into this main panel okay now after I sew both shoulders, here's what it looks like. As you can see, here is the stitches that we leave it open. Here is going to be the neck area. Okay, and then after you have both shoulders sewn, next we're going to sew the sleeve into the main panel. I already sewed the sleeve one side here. Here's what it looks like. Okay. And again, we're gonna sew on the wrong side. So right now, all the panels, wrong side facing up. All right, here is the other sleeve that I'm gonna show you how you can sew. All right, just sew back and forth, but I'm gonna show you how to do that anyway. All right, so I'm gonna turn this way, so easy to see. Sorry, it's kind of big. <laughs> all right. Okay, let me show you in the paper here real quick. It's kind of big. I just want to make sure you know what's going on here. Okay, so here is my back panel. I'm just going to put them like this, which is this one. This one, the back panel. This one, the front panel, which is this one right here. Okay, here is another front panel, which is this one. 
we already saw the shoulder here, right? And then here is another sleeve. I put them like this. Sorry. I already saw here this sleeve. And then this is the other sleeve I put right here, which is this one that we gonna sew it right now. All right. So here all my panels right now. All right. And I will show you how to sew the sleeve this side. All right. I <laughs> hope that makes sense. All right. I'm going to use the long tail that I left earlier to sew. And you can use any method you prefer to sew. And I use my yarn needle for sew. Insert the tail into the yarn needle here. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how I place my stitch marker here. So when I make the sleeve, I have 51 half double crochet and then I'm going to split it in half. So I have 25 stitches here, 25 stitches here, and then one stitch at the middle here. All right, so I place my stitch marker the middle one here into the 26 stitch of the sleeve right in the middle of the sleeve and then I place into the um, shoulder seam all right and then half of that I have 25 stitches here and then I count the rows uh, the back panel 17 rows and then I place this stitch marker into the row 17 so I gonna so the 17 rows on the back panel here into 25 stitches on my sleeve all right and i do exactly the same on this side so i have 17 rows of my front panels and then i have 25 stitches here on my sleeve i'm gonna sew them together all right whatever you do you can do uh, any method you prefer, just do whatever you think is uh, it's going to turn out good that you like. All right, but make sure both uh, panels are even. Okay, you're going to start sewing again. All the panels wrong side facing up, we sew on the wrong side. So this is row 17 of my sleeve. Sorry, uh, my back panel. I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then remember that stitch. Oops, sorry. Okay. The tail come from the sleeve. I'm gonna insert into the first stitch of row 17 that I just removed this stitch marker. Insert in there and then insert into the first stitch of the sleeve. All right, next stitch of the back panel and the next stitch of the sleeve. Next stitch of the back panel here, next stitch of the sleeve. Bring it out. I just gonna sew back and forth, nothing fancy. But uh, on the back and front panels, it's difficult to see the normal stitches because it's the end of each row that we insert the needle into. You kind of guess where you're going to insert your needle into. Just eyeball it. Just make sure it's even. All right. <laughs> okay. So I go into next stitch here of the back panel, next stitch there of the sleeve. Bring it out. Next stitch of the front, sorry, next stitch of the back panel, and the next stitch of the sleeve, like that. Make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose. Next stitch of the back panel, next stitch of the sleeve, like that. Bring it up. 
next stitch here, next stitch there, next stitch here, next stitch there. All right, here's what I have so far. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. All right, I'm just gonna keep sewing back and forth. And yeah, like I said, don't sew too tight or too loose. I'm gonna keep sewing, sewing until I reach the end here. And I will be back. Just take your time, be patient, and don't sew too tight or too loose. Good luck. Okay, now I sew my sleeve until the end here. And then next, I just need to whip the end and trim the tail and I'm done. And here's what it look like. I'll whip the end later. Okay, let me show you on the right side. So this is the wrong side, okay? And here is the right side. All right, so um, both sides sew exactly the same and use the same method that you use for this side to the other side. All right, and then I already have both sleeves sewn and next I will show you how to sew um, the body together. All right. Okay, next we're gonna sew the side seam and then the sleeve, okay? I will show you how to do that and this is kind of big and I'm going to show you in the paper here again real quick. <laughs> so this is my back panel, right? And this is the front panel. This is the other front panel. We already sew the shoulder here. And also the sleeve, we already sew the sleeve into the main panel here. Right? So yeah, I want you to fold your cardigan in half with the right side facing each other because we're gonna sew on the wrong side. We're gonna sew the side seam here all the way up till we reach the armpit and then continue sew the sleeve all the way down to the end here. All right. And you need to cut a new strand of yarn for sew and you can use any method you prefer to sew as well. I already sewed this side here. Here's my uh, cardigan, right side facing each other. I sew on the wrong side. So as you can see, I already sewed this side here. This is the wrong side, and this is the right side where I sew. And this is my sleeve. I already sew here as well. All right. Let me show you how to sew this side. I already have my new strand of yarn here. I cut about 80, 70, 80 inches long, enough to sew the side and in the sleeve. All right, let me show you this side. I'm gonna turn this side a little bit so you can see better, so I can sew it too. <laughs> All right, so I have my yarn needle here ready to go. So I'm going to insert my yarn needle into the first stitch here, right at the corner of the front panel. And then insert into the first stitch at the corner here of the back panel, like that. And bring it out. I'm just going to sew back and forth. Okay, leave a little bit of tail for weaving the end later. And then I insert into the next stitch of the front panel here. Next stitch of the back panel there. Bring it out. Next stitch here. Next stitch there. Bring it out. Next stitch here, next stitch there, bring it out, and then next stitch here, 
next stitch there and bring it out. Oops. Okay. Oops. And then next stitch here. Next stitch there. Bring it out. Next stitch here and next stitch there. Bring it out. Next stitch here. Next stitch there. Bring it out. It's a little difficult to see these stitches because we sew into the end of each row. But whatever you do, just make sure both panels is lining up like that. All right, make sure it's even. That's all important. So let me show you a few more times here. So I insert into next stitch here, next stitch there. And then next stitch here and next stitch there like that okay here's what it looks like so far as you can see the back and the front panel are lining up like that all right this is the wrong side this is the right side okay I just gonna keep sewing back and forth all the way up here until I reach the armpit, this corner, and then I'm gonna continue sew the sleeve all the way down till the end here, and then I will be back. And like I said, you can use any method you prefer and make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose and make sure all even and lining up. Good luck, take your time. I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, now, I'm at the end of my sleeve here and then next I just need to weave the ends and I'm not going to show you how to do that because I'm pretty sure you know how to weave the ends. So here's what it looks like on the wrong side where I just sew. Okay and here is the right side. Okay. I'm going to weave the end later. And here's where I just sew on the side seam as well. This is the wrong side. All right, and you can weave the end now if you like. I'm gonna weave the end later. And then next, we're gonna crochet around the collar here. And to do that, I want you to turn your uh, cardigan right side out. We're gonna crochet on the right side. Okay, next, we're gonna crochet around the collar so to do that, like I said, turn your cardigan right side out. We're going to crochet on the right side and my cardigan here right side out. Okay, so I'm going to use color A to crochet around the collar. So as you can see here, my collar ready to go. Uh, sorry, my project ready to go, ready to crochet. So um, to start, I'm going to insert my hook at the first stitch here into the first stitch at the corner right here all right and bring my new yarn color a and then hold on the back and then yarn over hook with the new yarn pull up a loop and chain one and the chain one doesn't count at a stitch and then into the same stitch we're gonna make half double crochet so yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop and make half double crochet and then half double crochet into the next stitch I also weave this end as I go so I hold on the back and work over this end so you don't have to do that you can weave the end later if you like but I just want to tell you what I do here so we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch until we reach this um, shoulder corner Okay, so I yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. I work over this end so I can weave that end as I go. And then pull up a loop and make half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next. 
and half double crochet into the next and then half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next and half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next oops half double crochet into the next and then half double crochet into the next okay here's what it looks like so far and then now I reach the corner here the shoulder corner and then into that corner I'm gonna make two half double crochet in there also this corner as well two half double crochet in there just to avoid the big hole all right so I yarn over my hook insert the hook into that corner pull up a loop and make half double crochet and then I'm gonna make one more half double crochet into the same stitch right at the corner there so yarn over insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop and make half double crochet like that and then we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch until we reach the other corner uh, the shoulder corner and we also gonna make two half double crochet in there and then after that we're gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across to the right uh, color corner here all right let me show you a few more stitches here so I yarn over insert the hook into the first stitch of the back panel there double loop and we have double crochet half double crochet into the next and half double crochet into the next and half double crochet into the next all right here's what it's look like so far okay I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each stitch until I reach this corner and then I will be back when I reach this corner and we're gonna make two half double crochet together right here all right okay I'm at the corner here so into that shoulder corner like I said we're gonna make two half double crochet in there so I yarn over insert the hook into that corner pull up a loop and make half double crochet and then make one more half double crochet into the same stitch all right and then we're just gonna continue make half double crochet into each stitch across to the end here half double crochet to the next half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next all right Keep make half double crochet until the end. Okay, I'm at the end here, and here's what it looks like. Alright, I hope you have the same. And the end of row 1 for my collar, I have 48 stitches across. And if you have a couple more or a couple less, it's okay. Alright, and now row 2, we're going to chain 1, and turn this side, and then we're going to crochet half double crochet into each stitch across back to the left uh, collar here so after I chain one and turn and make half double crochet into the first stitch and then half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch all right just keep making half double crochet into each stitch across and i will be back when i'm at the end of row two here which is the left color corner here and i'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches which is 48 stitches across because 
we're not gonna increase or decrease. All right, I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, I'm at the end here. So I have the same 48 half double crochets that is across. And now for row three to row seven, I'm gonna repeat row two. All right, exactly the same. And every rows, you should have the same amount of the stitches because we're not increased or decreased. And if you want your color like taller, bigger, keep adding more rows. Just repeat row two. And for me, I think seven rows is perfect, but everyone like different. So yeah, whatever you prefer. And yeah, I am gonna keep repeating row two until I have seven rows. Uh, let me show you a few more stitches on row three here. So after I reach the end of row two here, for row three, I chain one and turn and repeat row two. I'm gonna make half double crochet into each stitch across. So we're just gonna go back and forth between this side, this side, this side, this side, like that, okay? So yeah, after I chain one and turn, I make half double crochet into the first stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. And half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. That's it. Very easy. Just repeat row two. Here's what it looks like so far on row three. All right. I'm gonna keep make half double crochet into each stitch across and then I reach the end, I'm gonna chain one and turn and half double crochet into each stitch across. Just repeat that back and forth. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row two until I have seven rows and then I will be back when I'm at the end of row seven. Good luck, take your time, I will be back soon. Okay, now I'm at the end of row seven and then next I'm gonna cut a yarn you don't need to leave a long tail, just enough to weave in the end. All right. And then after I cut the yarn, I'm gonna pull my yarn out. And here's what it looks like. You can wear it like this or put it down like this as well. All right. And like I said, if you want your color like taller, keep adding more rows. Just repeat row two. All right. And then next, we're gonna crochet around the uh, the front edge and then the color edge here. And to do that, I'm gonna use color B for that. Let me move this real quick. Okay. Okay, for the front edge and the color edge, I'm gonna insert my hook at the corner here on the right front panel, bottom corner. <laughs> okay, so hope you can see. All right, after I insert the hook there, I bring my color B and then hold it on the back and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop and chain one. And the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And then into the first space, uh, we're gonna crochet into the end of each row. I call that space instead. So easy to understand. Okay, so first space Which is the end of first row here. I'm gonna make two single crochet in there right here So insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through All the loops on the hook. This is my first single crochet and then make one more single crochet into the same space Insert the hook into the same space, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then we're gonna make one single crochet into next space, which is the end of next row, right here. Just one single crochet, okay? Insert the hook into next space, pull up a loop and make a single crochet. That is gonna be the repeat. We're gonna make two single crochet into next space, and then one single crochet into next space. Repeat that. Two single crochet into next space, one single crochet into next space, two single crochet into next space, one single crochet into next space. Repeat that all the way up, okay? 
and I also weave this end as I go so I work over this end you don't have to do that you can weave this end later if you like I don't want to tell you what I do here so next space here I'm gonna make two single crochet in there so insert the hook pull up a loop and make single crochet and one more insert the hook pull up a loop make single crochet and then next space here make one single crochet okay next space here make two single crochet one and two and the next space make one single crochet one next space here make two single crochet in there one and two next space here make one single crochet in there one like that here's what it look like so far it's like one sorry it's like two one two one two one two one okay let me show you here here's what it look like so far so as you can see in this line it have two rows in there that means it have two spaces right so next space here you're gonna make two single crochet next space here you make one single crochet next space here you make two Next space here, you make one. Next space here, you make two. Next space here, you make one. All right. So yeah, just keep making two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one until you reach the right color corner here. And then I will be back when I reach this part. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Now I'm at the corner here. So into that corner, I'm going to make two single crochet in there. So right here, so insert the hook, pull up a loop, make single crochet, and make one more single crochet into the same stitch. Insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, and make single crochet. Alright, and then I'm going to make one single crochet into each stitch until I reach this corner. And then when I reach this corner, the last stitch of this corner, I'm going to make two single crochet in there. But don't worry, I will be back when I'm at uh, this corner, okay? So let me show you a few more stitches here. So next stitch here, I make one single crochet. One single crochet into the next stitch. So this is no more stitch. We're just going to make one single crochet into each stitch. All right. Not like this part. This part, we crochet into the end of each row, right? But it's just no more stitches. Okay. <laughs> so next stitch here, I make single crochet. And the next stitch here, make single crochet single crochet into the next single crochet into the next single crochet into the next like that here's what it's look like so far all right I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch until I reach this corner and I will be back okay now I reach this corner here and then into that corner stitch I'm gonna make two single crochet in there Oops, sorry. Right here. Okay. So, make one single crochet and make one more. Just two. Alright. And then, next, into the end of each row of this panel, this side, we're going to do exactly the same that we do this side. So, we're going to make two single crochet into the first space. One single crochet into the next space, and then two single crochet into the next space, one single crochet into the next space. Okay, let me show you. Let me turn a little bit here. Okay, first space here, I'm gonna make two single crochet in there. So one, one more, and two. And next space here, I make one single crochet in there. Alright, next space here, I make two single crochet, one and two. And next space here, I make one single crochet. Next space here, I make two single crochet, one and two. Next space here, make one. Next space here, make two. One and two. Next space here, make one, like that. 
all right here's what it's look like so far like i said you're gonna do exactly the same that we did this side all right you're just gonna keep making two one two one two one into each space down until the end here which is the left front corner here all right i will be back when i reach the end here good luck take your time i will be back soon okay now i'm at the end here here's what it look like and then for row two we're gonna chain one and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the chain one doesn't count at a stitch we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across to the right corner here go around the neck okay but in the corner collar we're gonna make two single crochet into each corner but don't worry i will be back when i'm at that point okay let me show you this part first so after i chain one and turn i make one single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next like that okay all right keep making one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the collar here corner and then i will be back when i reach this corner okay okay now i'm at this uh, corner here i'm gonna make two single crochet into that corner stitch so insert the hook into that corner stitch pull up a loop and make single crochet and then make one more single crochet into the same stitch insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop and make a single crochet all right and then we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch until we reach the other corner and then we're gonna make two single crochet into that corner as well and again don't worry i'll come back when i'm at the other corner let me show you a few more stitches here so single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next single crochet into the next and then single crochet into the next single crochet into the next okay here's what it's look like so far and i will be back when i'm at this corner okay now i'm at the other corner here and like i said i'm gonna make two single crochet into that corner stitch right here so i insert the hook into that corner stitch pull up a loop and make single crochet and then make one more single crochet into the same stitch insert the hook into the same stitch pull up a loop and make a single crochet and then we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch all the way down until we reach the end which is the right front bottom corner okay so next stitch here make one single crochet and then one single crochet into the next and 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 here's what it look like so far really beautiful i love it all right i'm gonna keep make one single crochet into each stitch until i reach the end here which is the right front bottom here all right good luck okay i'm at the end here and then next i uh you need to cut the yarn i already cut the yarn here and then after i cut the yarn i pull my yarn out and i'm done and now if you like bigger edge you can keep going just repeat row two over and over okay but for me i think it's, it's look good i like it this way because when it's come to this color part it's gonna turn like this so i want the right side turn out like this around the color that's why i stop at row two but like i said if you like you can keep going okay so next i'm gonna sew the buttons into the pocket this is optional if you don't want to do that totally fine so i have my needle and the thread and the button ready to sew 
So you can eyeball it where you want to place your button. Like I'm going to put around here. I think it's good. So it should be around here. Make sure it's even. Okay. So I think it's good. So I insert my needle here. Insert into the button. Pull out and then I'm going to tie a knot. So I think this good. I think it's even. And I'm going to keep sewing. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to sew the button, right? Just sew back and forth. I'm not good at sewing either, but I think sew the button pretty easy. <laughs> All right. Okay, keep sew the button. Make sure it's secure and then tie a few knots and trim the thread to the tail and you're done and now you can try so see we don't have the buttonhole because we use these uh, the stitches in between to be the buttonhole and you can place anywhere you like let me put around here let's see what's gonna look like oh I think it's beautiful what do you think oh I love it all right, and I'm going to sew the other side exactly the same. Okay, let me go ahead and sew the other side and then I will be back soon. Okay, now I have the other button sewn here. And here's what it looks like. And here's before I close my uh, pocket flap. <laughs> so you can eyeball it where you want to put the button. Maybe here, maybe here, maybe here. or Yeah, <laughs> see? Very cool. I love it. I hope you do too. And then next, I, I just gonna weave all the ends and I'm done. Yay! And here's what it looks like. Sorry, it's kind of big. I cannot show you the whole thing, but you can see in the picture. I'll show you in the picture. Here is the color. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. Congratulations. You just make a very beautiful cardigan here. I love it so much. And I hope you do too. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.